Well, welcome back to everyone for Zone and to a weekend review reviewing all of the um, Premier League games uh, and the FA Cup games um, from this past weekend. Starting off with the first semi final, Man City won. Chelsea you know it was a late goal by Bernardo Silva who gave Man City the win. And yeah, on the whole, there wasn't much to separate two sides, but City, you'd probably say, just about had the edge and in the end got the result they deserve. For Chelsea, it's another missed opportunity at Wembley after, of course, that infamous Carabao Cup final. Uh, and yeah, that would be so frustrating to them. Um, but yeah, for City, a big win. Um, out of the Champions League but still in the FA Cup and moving on then to on Sunday to an unbelievable game Manchester United were cruising 3-0 up after 71 minutes before Sims, O'Hare and Hadji Wright in the 95th minute from the spot levelled out the commentary commentary then had a goal this loud um by a whisker in the last minute of extra time, Manchester United went on to win the penalty shootout. Yeah, it was the most kind of embarrassing win that you'll probably ever see. United somehow got over line, but what an effort for Coventry. I was rooting for them, and yeah, I was absolutely gutted when it didn't quite work out for them. But yeah, they can be so proud of their efforts. Moving on into the um, Premier League games, and starting off um, with... Um, Luton won Brentford 5 at um, Kenilworth Road. And yeah, you could feel this could be a um, brutal bowl for um, Luton's survival helps. Visa with two goals, Pinnock, um, Lewis Potter and Shando with the goals. Berry got a goal in stoppage time for Luton. But yeah, it was very little uh, consolation really. But but yeah, um, Brentford dominates the game, fully deserved the win. And like I say, a hammer blow really for Luton's survival prospects, you feel. Moving on into Sheffield United 1, Burnley 4 at um, Bramwell Lane. And it was um, Larson um, and Hassanian who made it 2-0 to Burnley before Hamer got one back. But Foster and Goodmanson um, kind of put the game beyond doubt uh, and just sealed the win um, for um, Burnley. Uh, Sheffield United actually had a relatively decent amount of the game, to be honest. If you look at the stats, you think it'd be quite even. But I think Burnley just took their chances were clinical and in the end um, got the win a big big win for them and yeah um, massive in their survival prospects still got a chance moving on into Wolves nil Arsenal 2 at Molyneux and it was Trossard and Odegaard um, for Arsenal it was yeah a pretty dominant win here for Arsenal um, I would say um, yeah um, kind of dominated from minute one and in the end um, got their reward had to be patient um, and then got it done um Obviously, after that disappointing result against Villa, it's all about um, yeah getting back on track of them, and I think it's a good way good way to start off with. But obviously, they'll need to do a lot, lot more to kind of stay in contention. Moving on into Everton two, Forest nil at Goodison Park, and Guy and McNeil um, score for Everton. Um, and yeah, in the end, it was quite an even game. And obviously, Forest um, afterwards, their owner Marinakis. Uh, yes, as I say, hasn't been too happy about um, the outcome here, and yeah. Um, has kind of um, <laughs> let's say gone onto Twitter uh, and you know, taken it out of hand. I do think he did have a fair chance on them, but yeah, it does seem like a bit of an over the top reaction. So yeah, it would be an interesting one uh, to see if that kind of end leads anywhere. I can't say it though. But moving on into Villa three, Bournemouth one at Villa Park, and it was Slanky from the spot who gave Bournemouth the lead, and then Rogers, Diabe, and Bailey um, scored for Villa. Uh, yeah, in the end, a pretty comfortable win for Villa, and you know, a big win for them. It, I think yeah, you would. Probably probably say that they're um, in the box seat for that Champions League spot um, six ahead of Tottenham with two games in hand Tottenham though so you know it's not it's not a foregone conclusion Tottenham can win those games um, but yeah um, at the same time it's a big win for them moving on into Palace 5 West Ham 2 and I think this is kind of this Palace side that we've wanted to see for a while one that's just free flowing with some of the attacking players they got Elise, Eze, Mateta all got on the score sheet Mateta with a brace we also had an Emerson and goal um there's a Henderson own goal for uh, Crystal Palace and Antonio scored as well. Um, but yeah, on the whole, Palace were pretty dominant here. And in the end, um, without a doubt, deserve their, deserve their win here. Um, and yeah, I think West Ham, we're kind of seeing their European hopes fade away. Um, but yeah, um, in the end, a pretty comfortable win for Palace. Moving on then to Fulham 1, Liverpool 3 at... Um, Craven Cottage and yeah it was Trent Arnold in the 32nd minute uh, Castagna equalised and just before half time and Gravenberch and Jota got the quick goals for Liverpool and yeah I think Liverpool were probably back to their best here it wasn't classic Liverpool but in the end they did the job they needed to do still just about in the title hunt um, which is obviously um, big result for them um, but Man City you know it kind of feels like they are in prime position uh, now uh, nonetheless hey guys, that's it for this video thanks very much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe follow us on our socials link to description below for daily football news meme and content subscribe for our other channels on screen right now that would be greatly appreciated thanks very much for watching peace out